Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. It's time now for one of the big games of today. EG versus Vici Gaming. Joining the couch by Fog Bulba. How are we feeling about EG versus Vici Gaming, Bulba? Um, well, EG is a team they generally like learn throughout the tournament, right? And Vici just came in and just crushed uh, both the teams they played. Who did they play? They played uh, VP first. And, and then, then they Liquid. Played, and then Liquid, yeah. yeah. Well, their VP games were... Um, well, didn't, they didn't play Liquid. Ehome played Liquid, right? Oh, sorry. I did. They, they play OG VP and OG. OG, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so uh, their their games were VP were quite close. If you saw the third game, the Dragon Knight dra Gyro game, it mm. was really close. So uh, I don't know. Both teams are like both teams kind of just generally learn throughout the tournament. Yeah, VG's kind of more um, strat like allies oriented in terms of like they have like picked one thing the start of a tournament and they'll pick the same thing throughout. Like in Nunyang, they had their undying uh, alchemist. They're a funny team because I always see them like. Two or like an hour or two hours before that match, they're just in the games room, like playing Gang Beast, Fen Fenrir and FYI sleep on the couch. Burning's just there watching Ice 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 clan around. Seems like they just relax. Like they don't, they're not like trying to do any last minute preparations for their game. I, like, I don't know if that's normal for you guys, like Bob, Bulba. Like, what do you guys think about that? It's pretty different. I mean, they have a coach, right? So maybe I think him and just the, yeah. like maybe they just do it before their game in like the booth or something, or inside the room right before. Mm -hmm. Something. Okay. It's generally like it's good to chill. if you just overcomplicate it, it's not as good as well. Like cool. if you just sit there and talk for hours on end yeah. about something that you don't really need to talk about. Hello, so. Carlo guy. Welcome. Hi guys. How we doing? Doing good. good. What were you up to? Where'd you go? We were uh, doing some extra content uh, that may be uh, coming out a bit later. Uh, stuff, so it's a bit late to make it to the start of this one, but I'm pumped. Vici Gaming vs EG, our winner bracket final. I know you guys were talking about Vici a bit. Did you already go over uh, EG Team Egg? No. Dakota's no? a player. Oh, I'm a player. You're upgraded, dude. I'm in. I'm in. Nice. Do you need someone? I'm here for you. You're a player. I'm a player. I'm a player. <laughs> uh, so VG Gaming, yeah, you were saying what? Pretty relaxed, but I'd have to say the I don't know if you agree with this. The VG Gaming playing already here look really good, at least compared to the Frankfurt Major one. I don't know. They seem to turn it up. Yeah. I already said last time I was on the couch and talking about them that it almost felt as if they were not really into it at all. I know that these guys can make... A lot of money back at home, yep. like just doing streams and stuff, so people can begin to question their dedication to the game a bit. If the fire is still lit under their ass to play, well, it felt but like it so fair, far. They, they still got fifth at the major, which is quite also good, right? Yeah. yeah. It's beat, below uh, Vici standards, but, but for yeah. like pro team yeah. standards, it's great, yeah. yeah. And uh, right now, I think like the European teams are still, um, like, I don't know actually, like China, they have their, their new Master League or whatever, like the in house league game. Yes. And the, or, or I talked to the home message, coach, yeah. and he told me like it's like rejuvenating the pro scene a bit there over there. Because well, it's kind of like well. an FPL where people like try new heroes. The and thing picks is, or... in China, like in North America, you have that FPL, and you have people clowning around and not really giving a. There's only one game going on in FPL. And too. It's not There's serious, you know. Like Ten games. But you put that in China, and then it's like in Dota one that there was the CDC League, like yeah. the first one, and that's where all these like players like Siler. And uh, they kind of got noticed there. Like, I know Siler used to play that league, a few others, and they all kind of got noticed from in-house leagues. Kind of like the same one in North America. But maybe, it would, like, I see FY play a lot. Like, you can just see, like, they're just spamming it all day instead of pubs. Okay. And it's definitely more enjoyable and, like, just better overall. So. It's a shame we can't have that here in North America. Yeah, yeah, we got some uh, <laughs> so we got some players that won't allow that to happen. Yeah. I guess, right? Unfortunately, those games are great just to watch. Nah, I yeah, think we can on, we can refrain, yeah. huh? We can refrain from that. <laughs> Is it Dota Master? Here, there's oh, one. We can drop not. one, right? <laughs> an R player <laughs> ends with you. We love Dota Master. <laughs> Has an Itsu in the middle. Ryu, Ryu Boris? Oh, oh no, okay, oh. never mind. Ryu, no. Ryu. <laughs> No, he, he's, a, he's a he's a Euro now. He's in he's in Europe. Yep. So he's he's no longer in NA. But he realized that Europe's where it's at. A seven K now. Side preference none. Look at the only team uh -huh. with a uh, fifty percent wow. side preference. It's pretty interesting. All the other ones I saw were like sixty two, sixty one, yep. fifty eight. Okay. Cool. What's Fenrir doing over there? It looks like I have fabulous hair right there. I don't no, know. No, he's fabulous. And now what? They're gonna make him bring it back. And now yeah, show me that. Oh, mm. mm -hmm. There we go. Mm. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Signature hero, Skyrath Lion. Dude, Skyrath Mage. Where did that hero go? I forget. That's a hero we have not seen in a long time. Not as long as Faceless Void. They used to be a That's match a made in heaven. As well. yeah, when have you seen Lion? Yeah. I don't. I, 
This is a throwback. And yeah, it should be Burning's hero. Those right? heroes don't look like some M F Fenrir heroes. I mean, what is a classic Fenrir hero nowadays? I don't even really feel like he has one. Undying, he just plays whatever. Undying. Okay. Um, he plays whatever. He does he play the like Bane? Dazzle. He Dazzle. Dazzle. Yep. He plays the Bane. He plays the Bane. So FY sometimes plays it as well. He's played like uh, he used to play a bit of Venge as well, like during DSC when they were yeah. spamming Venge. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, now their Venge came to their carry. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Venge only saw Burning resurgence. God. So who who has uh, side? I didn't see. Um, we can when we load in, we can pop back in okay. and see the chat, or when we load in, we'll see who chose what. Who do you think's gonna take? I it? I'm, I'm always curious. I mean, what it's always about the picks, right? Oh come on! Who do you, you have to you have to do before picks before anything? Who do you think just a nothing with no uh, with no information? Can can now observer <laughs> observer <laughs> check the uh, can't lobby see into the future without his glasses. Yeah. Okay. Somebody get on the observer PC and check the lobby chat. Oh, there we go. We'll load in. EG cannot go straight to the winner bracket without uh -huh. going drop to the lower bracket. Okay, let's see if VG bans SF. Come on. If that was VG, I would ban SF plus... Uh, SF plus Bane. That's probably the bans for VG. And EG would ban... EG ban Undying plus, uh, plus one. Like Undying Darkseer on EG. So Doom is not really a, just a, a big deal anymore? They might... Uh, I don't know actually, VG did play Doom once, so maybe EG would respect ban the Doom. And even the Tusk is up something Ice 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 has been playing a bit of lately. But so, yeah, Doom's banned. Yeah, there's the Doom ban. And here they would ban SF unless they want to play versus EG's SF. But it is SF Radiant, so... Uh, yeah. Thing is, when you play versus SF Radiant, your entire game is about playing versus SF Radiant, you know? And if you just screw up once, it's uh, SF Radiant. It's like EG's games yesterday versus Liquid. All three games EG had SF Radiant, and then... Uh, the first game Liquid managed to beat, and then the last two games they weren't able to. They made some like, bit up, like screw up plays, and then they just lost. And Are you surprised to see EG on the Radiant side, Bulba? Or do you think that's something they prefer? No, I think uh, generally Radiant side is a favor for the teams that care a lot about their mid player. Mm. So uh, you have Sumail and RTZ. You have basically two mid players on this team. So, And then you have Fear as well. well he used to be a mid player. So four, three mid players. Well, let's see this Bane. It's they're debating whether they're to debating, ban SF. Yeah, they're definitely it's kind of weird though. Uh, I, I guess they're just going to wait for the time to... But they... Uh, Tusk, so Tusk, they're going to okay. give up EG Bane. Unless... The thing is, VG's also played SF. But I don't think EG cares about Super's SF on Dire. It, it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like, like something they really like. Yeah, they would not care toward. about. If they play versus SF on Dire, I don't think they care as much. EG's debating right now whether to ban Undying, Darkseer, or just ban the SF as well. Have we seen Evil Geniuses pull out the uh, the timber saw yet this tournament? No, no, I think it's because uh, gyro gyrocopter. Hmm. Maybe they want the undying. Well, they definitely want something if they're not going to get whatever this may be. Well, v since gyro was banned there, EG wants SF undying. Like that's their yeah, ideal. Yeah, SF undying definitely. But uh, so <laughs> now EG will okay. play versus SF undying. So, so what do you think they'll dazzle or like Darkseer or Wyvern? They could do that. They 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 probably want the undying though. That's what I was, yeah. Like they, that's exactly what I was thinking. Because they banned the gyro. They they could take like dazzle undying. I don't know if they would do that. That looks that sounds a little weird to them. Yeah. That's all PPD talked about when he was on the couch was dazzle dazzle dazzle. Yeah, dazzle. dazzle. Yeah. He was just mind gaming. Us. There's yeah. uh, <laughs> mind gaming everybody. Doesn't actually think the hero is as good as he was talking about. Ten seconds but. remaining. Okay. Darkseer Dark wyvern. Darkseer Wyvern or Dazzle? Dazzle, okay. Dazzle Darkseer. wasn't completely bluffing. So I got Dazzle. one, and you guys got one, and yeah. everyone's happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did Vici take Undying here? I mean, the thing is, uh, VG wants a support to help out mid, so they should take... Like, when you play SF Undying, you need a support to help help camp for the SF mid. Yep. Or else he's just going to get crushed. So they need, like, a Wyvern. Wyvern. Dazzle's taken. Bane is banned. So what else is there? There's, like, Rubik. It's generally OG likes that. Um, Not this early though. Pull out the bounty yeah. hunter. That's a FY classic. Yeah, but uh, Darkseer is very good versus bounty yep. in the game. And so is Dazzle. Yeah. I don't the know if they will take the bounty this early. They could just like open up with like. Uh, they also need a hero that can solo Darkseer. Yeah, so undying they take is the undying. The they're just gonna go for. So. Okay, yeah. EG should ban Rasta. I think because VG picked had this lineup at the. Uh, like they should ban like Rasta and Venge if they care, but Venge is not really good at laning versus Darks here, so I don't know if that is worth banning. Ten seconds remaining. And VG would probably try and ban like 
Um, like some of Sumil's mid heroes, like uh, Invoker, maybe Templar Assassin. They might ban the Quap too, just because they picked up the Undying, right? Yeah. Like Quap Huskar, maybe they could be afraid of that. Eh, probably not the Husk. And EG are just not Huskar players, right? And also, I mean, don't uh, even give it. Okay, or they're just gonna ban it, it anyways, just to be uniform, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Ban it. You don't you want to. to, like, in yeah. a scenario where don't even give the chance. Yeah. You don't want to start a start a best of three, basically just losing because of something yeah, so like that. So EG bans the Venge. Yep. Yeah. And now they're probably gonna ban Rasta, Evil or turn to ban. like Bounty, like you said. I don't know if they would ban VG's Bounty though. I think PPD when I think they he was casting one of the games where VG was playing Bounty and he was like, yeah, oh, FY when he's playing the Bounty often just has these bad games or gets shut down a lot. So. I think EG will ban something and take Wyvern here. That is their probably their best play. You think okay. they'll still take just because the Darks here? Even yeah. Though, even though it's through the Dazzle? Yes. And yeah. Wyvern generally is a good hero versus uh, SF as well. SF, yeah. No stuns though. No no worry of lack of lockdown yeah, with you that? Don't, you don't need stuns in Dota anymore. <laughs> Right. You just need like one stun. They banned the Phantom Mancer. Good ban by uh, VG there. Because PL is. Uh, Artur played it. And all three games were sus, right? Or two games were sus. It's r it can be really strong versus the Undying, too, because you can insta kill the Okay, they banned the Wyvern then. So, um, they don't want to give VG Wyvern Undying. And I, I guess they don't want to take the Wyvern for fear. Could they get like a Spirit Breaker instead for fear? Goes along with the Dark Seer a bit. Could yeah, add a lot of pressure on Shadow Fiend. Yeah, Spirit Breaker is a good Spirit pick. Spirit Breaker is good, yeah. Maybe they wait for the fourth pick to grab it, but. Yeah, it's maybe still EG good. could also want the Bounty Hunter to crush the SF. Like, uh, like uh, in these tournaments, you see what's kind of. Like, China's kind of picking this Bounty versus SF, right? So uh, maybe EG kind of takes this Bounty to crush VG's SF. Yeah, other than that, it's like, what, Night Stalker, maybe? That's a fear kind of hero. There's Wind Ranger still for Samael. Invoker. There's a Queen of Pain as well. Yeah, it's still Quap. And no one's going early Slardar anymore? Is that already falling off? Oh, Juggernaut. Oh, the nice Jug. It's a lot of heal. I mean, will Vici go for like an AA still to respond to that? It's push, it's heal. I think no one, someone's getting a mech. Uh, like Rasta, something like that. Like Based on what they picked last time, they played this lineup. Plus. They need an Ice 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 hero. I don't think he'll play the Undying. No, I think Fenrir, for the most part, yeah. plays it exclusively on their team. You don't get. I've Ten definitely seen Isis Ice play it. Like oh, really? As far as, okay. like, yeah, Isis Ice can Hello, play Hello, the bit. roaming Undying strat the that he point. has. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, viral like, uh, sensation. Not not to say. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't, not to disagree yeah. with you guys. It's more like, yeah, he's de definitely. A, definitely will. Like, I feel like it's 50 50 him, Fenrir. Okay. okay. What if he just busts out the Logan booked Abaddon here? The Logan Abaddon. Yeah. yeah. No, they already have Darks here. Do you think they would? No, v no, Vici. Vici. Oh, Vici, okay. <laughs> it's spreading like fire, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, it is very good with their lineup, but they don't really have anything to remove with the shield. Ro I like, yeah, Rasta's probably looks best. I'm trying to think of anything else. Then I'm just seeing two lineups who just want to get together and, and push, 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 and push objectives. Well, and Vici needs a hero that can lane versus uh, DS in top lane. So uh, what are there? S what is there? There's not much. Does isn't disruptor pretty good? Helps pull back a glimpse. Vici took the spirit breaker. Oh, wow. oh. that's Ice's hero. They picked Burning Queen of Pain a bit. Uh, it hasn't been phenomenal on the hero, but it seems to be like a kind of hero they may pick for him that lanes pretty well against Oxia. Yeah. Could be Burning plays everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know they need a fear hero. What yeah. does Juggernaut have done is they've banned Wyvern and they've they've banned Wyvern and then they have Dazzle. So then they took the jug. Because Wyvern is generally a good hero for Juggernaut because you can uh, use a third spell and whoever gets Omni Slashed. So it could still be Windrunner even yeah. though it's not yeah. as great versus like Spirit Breaker. And, and you can also mm. ulti the Juggernaut when he's spinning yeah. and cancels TP. Is there any consideration towards an Ember pick? Like Reserve it's time. something like Arteezy's been spamming in pubs, both Sumail and Arteezy both play I, it. I don't think... Um, I mean, EG wants a hero that can just dominate mid. Queen. Yeah, so they so took queen. the queen. Yeah, it's queen or, win or win runner, I thought there. <laughs> but uh, Spiritbreaker is a, a good hero versus queen in the game. Like, Spiritbreaker is actually very good versus the Juggernaut and the queen. Anti-mage. Anti-mage. Right. Oh, okay. the burning AM. Even it's here. So the only reason they picked this anti-mage is because they needed a hero to lane versus Darks here. And uh, AM is a good hero versus queen. But I don't know the stats on these SF anti-mage lineups. Like, uh, they're generally... Way too greedy. 
It tends it's, to lose. Yes, it's too much space. Mm. Like SF needs way too much help. Anti Mage needs, like the game needs to go in Anti Mage's favor. Like when you play SF, you want to run your game around SF, and then when it's AM, you want to run this hero on Anti Mage. So then you have these very two greedy heroes together. Like OG ran this at uh, um, that tournament they just played. Defense and Liquid just rolled over them. Yep. They so said it was too greedy. Yeah. Super's SF is one of the less greedy SF, so like he'll always go over the mech build pretty much and play a lot more defensively than Axe back. Most. Maybe Ice is playing that in pubs or something. Axe is a good hero for Struggernaut. Maybe that's why they banned it. Yeah, Jug and Dazzle. I like the Night Stalker ban. Would have been good. Iron Shell right at your face and then the silence for the AM. So what is Fierce Hero going to be then? No Spirit Breaker now, no Night Stalker. Some other run at you, potential disable for this AM. Night Stalker is banned, so. Uh, Could still be Rasta for that. I think they want catch so they can actually kill yeah, the AM. Rasta they want like a good. lion, lion Rasta lion? type lion thing. Or yeah. Rasta. Yeah. I, think I, I don't like lion as a hero. I just feel like you general. can't play into AM with no catch here. Yeah. Like, vacuum's all you've got. Co-op Orchid before AM gets Manta. Like, so what else? Ag's lion with vacuum? Hell yeah. <laughs> Rasta, do they, do they still do just shaker support at all? They do, right? They did it earlier yeah, this tournament. Uh, I don't know if they would pick it here. I don't think so either. I like the Rasta a lot, but I'm just trying to think of maybe mm. a, something else. Skywrath Mage, guys. The return. <laughs> Could happen. No. That would be probably one of the more shocking picks for me to see, like yeah. in this tournament in general. Like Skywrath is going to be one of the, like, the least picked heroes in this patch. Definitely some catch. So yeah, roster shaker. Speed I think EG can take the roster and deny VG the roster. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else VG would pick here. They need a FY hero. I'm thinking about what he's played so far in this tournament. Uh, can you go back for a Rubik? Rubik is is this still like you look at okay so shaker, right. shaker like Rubik just seems <laughs> very good now Rubik. Or I don't know the, the hero is so slow. Then you have these four melee heroes with the like you have anti like what is your safe lane? I it think you Dark want Shield something stronger than the Rubik because you're going to have the anti-mage playing away from you. And you want to be able to group up with like the SF and Undying at least a bit. Rubik yeah. seems a little greedy. Yeah, if they Rubik, I would like I would favor EG's lineup by a lot. I mean, if not, I already favor EG's lineup quite a bit because I think that SF will get pretty Ten crushed. I'm, just not, I'm not really seeing it. It's got to be like Rasta, Rubik, I guess. I don't know. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Skywrath Mage. Is the Rasta Rubik for what? The Rubik. Rubik. So well, Rubik. well, well, well. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it, though. Yes. FY drafting, he's just saying, look, I want to put on a show There's here. There's a lot of good spells to steal. He's got like yeah. Blink, Quap stuff, you know, Shaker, Grave, obviously Juggernaut ulti. I mean, I, Rubik is a good hero versus. Uh, He's an okay hero versus Dark Sphere lane. He's one of the supports that can kill him. Mm -hmm. Like you can just save your lift for the wait for the surge. Yeah. yeah. Someone was drawing on the map whenever I hear that. It's like they're plotting out a five-man movement right now, baby. Or maybe a TP ward. You know, uh -huh. maybe something less. Maybe something more simple. Plant the ward there. <laughs> go go go. What were the odds in this matchup coming in? I can't but feel tricked, like it was dude. You got tricked, yeah. He tried. He's like, he's only he put the like, camera. Oh, uh, the camera's like, on. Too late. <laughs> camera, camera and glasses. No problem. Sorry, man. And they get the zoom in. The secret's oh, out. Man. He wears glasses. Dude, you look, you look, you look in glasses. I like glasses, it. You look good in glasses. I wear glasses. We're all blind. All right. We're all blind here. We're all gamers. I can't see shit from here, so this is on you guys. You can't? I'm, I'm bad. I have, totally like, bad. I have like, I'm this close to cataracts, I feel. So PPD is steeping bottom to uh, ward safe lane. Got him. Yep. Anyways, uh, what are you guys' I like EG's. predictions? I like EG's. Yeah. The Shaker, I think, was a little bit weak instead of maybe a Rasta, but overall with the Darkseer and the team fights, you know, they have a well, giant Well, they picked the synergy. Shaker so that uh, Darkseer can get level 2 top. Yep. And yeah, that's good after he gives them level 2, he'll run on and rotate on mid. Mm -hmm. And if SF plays b uh, past River, there's a chance that Shaker will go stun him. But uh, they picked this Rubik, I think. F main reason is like also, Help like mid. you said, to secure mid. Yep. So d there'll be a Rubik mid. Uh, basically, they're just going to try lane mid, it looks like. And Darkstar <laughs> will be soloing versus anti mage. Uh, like, Undying nice will just be rotating around, Rubik will be rotating, but generally their focus will be on mid. And if they want to win this game, they need to play around this SF. Like, they need to. 
Like this AM as a hero, you don't want to help him too much in a game like this. Because if you help him too much, then this SF is going to get crushed. Mm -hmm. So... And then the AM is never going to yeah. be at his final form. Yeah. Like the strength of EG versus EG's lineup is that EG only have w has one stun. And when uh, they need to wait for like Queen's Orchid to really make plays, oh, as well as Shaker's Blink. Oh, bad oh. manner hit. <laughs> that was a Bam. really big spank Three. right there. Easy manga regen. Anti mage just bought him. All right. What they think is, uh, they thought EG is going aggressive trialing and soloing Darkseer bottom, and then they see the lanes now and know. now this and. This is super good for Darkshire now because when he sees his anti mage attacking him, he, he's gonna see no uh, mana burn. Like AM strength versus Darkshire is at level yeah. one, you just zone the Darkshire out and you just attack him. Like he's yeah, missing he mana. Yeah. yeah, he knows. So this is a really good game for Universe now. Like uh, this game is set for him to have a good game. We saw yesterday what happens when he gets one v one. That Nyx game, he's yeah. saying like two solo kills. So. But but to be fair, mind control did kind of three two two there. <laughs> yeah, at least the, the second bottle one delivery though was yeah, like perfect true. timing. That one was like you can't really just be like, oh, he's gonna get his bottle here. Yeah, so Darkseer's gonna get free level two. And now Rupik is coming. He has no side war though on the Darkseer, so that's his weak. That's gonna be the weakness right now. But uh, AM is gonna be farming under tower. He has no quelling blade. This is a sad anti mage. And Rupik put a safe thin ward. Not going to be an easy to get a hold of though, with just one telekinesis. Might not be good enough for a surge, and he's still going to get the pull, it looks like here. Rubik? Nope, he'll take the aggro. Not happening. Undying doing really well helping mid. SF already, 8 CS. And they have a lane ward, so it really helps out. Super. Yeah, SF is doing well. So both teams did a short lane ward and a mid ward. Yeah, so Rubik will be rotating around yep. mid and bot uh, mid and top, and Dying will be stacking for Shadow Fiend, protecting him. Shaker will be stacking for Darkseer, I think. Trying to get, some maybe they might be able to get it here. Whoa. Dying's coming in. Looks like he they're gonna get more. it. I'm gonna get it. It looks like oh the south, the south. What? He's gonna die. Deny now. Uh, that south tick. Oh. Oh, it's Tombstone, Tombstone now. now committed here. They want to get a hold of Fear with the help of FY. They toss him back. They're going to move in. Kobe gets There's the Fissure off. Kobe. And he will go down. Man, go expend uh, this, this is a good Undying now. Like, this Undying is going to have a look at him. He got a kill. Then he got the. Yeah, he got yeah. really good experience. Level He's level three, three support on dying at He's two minutes. He was like, Get I think he was goal. like 10xp short of level two when SF got dived, because otherwise he could have had the soul rip, which would have been uh, able to save the SF, but still really good for VG. Yeah, universe is level oh. four before Fury three surge. minutes. Yeah, fear TP though. He needs it. He has no surge, no mana now. He's and fine. Yeah. He's Harassing. good. Universe didn't start with a uh, soul ring recipe, so he's going to have to wait for the chicken. Like he. he he has to honestly just go heal, or he's gonna, yeah, he's bringing it to him. And Fear Clarity him as well. Looking at bottom lane, how is Ice doing there? So good. Yeah, yes. he's getting low. Uh, this lane can't really kill him, because as soon as they go on him, they'll be able to, he'll be able to charge. Oh, oh got him. Okay, that's really bad from That was super a solo there. kill. Yeah. Yep. This is just classic, I think. Super sat on this hill, and there's a mid ward on Radiance Hill, like, I think. Yeah, yeah. So uh, SF, like SF, will go there and try and raise, and Queen will just blink on him, and especially level, like the, the prime time for Queen to kill SF is like one through four, right? And then level five, it gets kind of harder. Look at this creep wave. Yeah. Uh, Spirit Breaker is uh, uh, getting a lot, even though he's not getting, uh, he even has some decent CS. He has like, close to the amount of same CS as uh, Super. Level four before even yeah. four minutes. He's he's doing fine. He's charging mid. And it looks like he's going to take his business he's elsewhere. Yeah, just gets to oh, the roof. Oh, oh, double. yummy. Mm. Uh, so this Undying and Spirit Breaker are doing really well. Because uh, it's all about the levels for Beachy's lineup in terms of the, like their offlaners and supports. Like Rubik, Undying, and Spirit Breaker all need level high level in Tomb. Rubik needs ult, and Spirit Breaker needs his ulti as well. Uh-oh, bottom lane, Spirit Breaker, a little bit of trouble. They already committed the Blade Fury here. He's looking to juke and jive up. Fear's waiting to cut him off, but he already commits the TP, and he Ooh, is nice. not oh. going to be out. That heal at the end will get him. Peter brings him down. It's a nice try by Ice, though. Yeah. Soft TPing. 
I mean, you guys talked about the SF AM being kind of greedy. Do you feel like Vici are getting away with it right now, or EG have done enough to get a couple kills on the SF so far? I mean, EG needs to keep putting their pressure on uh, the SF, right? Yep. Like, you kill him once. He's he, he died twice, I guess. But he has all these stacks. Yep. Like, if EG is able to get a play where they go and uh, kill the stacks there, mm. they auto-win the game, it feels like. And uh, I think they might be able to do that when Jug hits, uh, sorry, when Queen hits 6. Like, they can, the problem is VG has Undying to protect the stack as well. So. Super has to not die here. Like, it's, it's really important for him not to die here. Yeah. Like, this is one of those games where this Undying is only going to be used defensively. Until Spearfinger gets, like, some farm. And then, like, the way that Undying will be used aggressively this game is once when SF gets levels in farm. That's when they can start farm manning with SF. And I'm dying. Well, it's Until then, is one Fisher here for a kill, but here just out of range. And he's gonna be waiting a bit too long. It looks like this is, I think, yeah. Fall back, farm your stack. You know, Queen Six. So staying in lane is just a, a death trap. Mmm, stack time. No, gun. what VG will wow. do is they'll send. He missed two stacks there. They'll send Rubik. Uh, they'll send Rubik mid to farm the stack. Uh, to get experience mid, and Undying and SF will share the experience there. Like they want to get Undying level f level five. Yeah, Rubik looks like Rubik's going mid. No smoke. And look at EG. They're kind of sitting on mid as well. Yeah, does they want to. Does uh, Fear have a? S does Does Peter have a smoke? Fear is bringing one right now. Yeah, it's okay. on Korea. So it looks like they want to smoke into. Uh, Artur Artur is gonna TP there, I think. Yeah, and go for the stack. It's like. Mm. Who's the ideal who to go for? Like with the TP, do you go for like a Fissure Omni slash kill an anti mage, or do you go for like an easier yeah, kill somewhere else? Yeah, look at Artur. Else? He's gonna TP here. They're gonna smoke into SF jungle and get a ward up. Okay. Yeah. VG should. This is kind of hard for VG to really think because. Uh, they don't really have any wards out right now on VG, like any good wards. Uh. And looks like um they will see no one farming bottom lane, and yeah. yeah, the lane's pushed up, but it's still like it's a solo spirit breaker. In theory, Jug should be there farming. Yeah, this is a secret mission right now. Okay, VG, SF and AM are hugging a lane together. They know. They they definitely. This is really know. good from VG. Yeah. They're yeah, they saw it. him move from bottom, and spirit oh, yeah. breaker's just chilling down there. He's like. Yeah, they're not here. I said, yeah, yeah he, he knows. And he's okay to die here if it means, like, Honestly, space uh, for his Honestly, SF team. should just TP bottom. They already committed in. They got the lift as Arteezy. Wanted to make the jump on FY. Look at this. They're even going to commit inside. Sue Mail's here, Burning too. Burning go and buy TP and just TP bottom, honestly. Well, he shouldn't stay in this lane. Like, they should just sack this tower. Yep. Like, they should give exactly each the tower, and then Burning needs to go bottom lane right now. He needs to TP there right now, or just run there. And SF needs to push in mid. No, I'm gonna jungle. Like Check what? What a bottom. play is uh if if burning was down here, fear would be dead here. Ice is ice is but level six. Might die anyway. Yeah. Yeah, if he gets a, a single bash, TP oh. coming in and that'll be the retreat now. Like that that TP by fear was not good, but uh, it's good because burning is on position. Like he's on the right place. He's kind of just farming here, and it's a problem with their lineup. Like it's SF they had the ward seeing seeing burning, yeah. so they they knew he wasn't down there. Yeah, it's a problem with SF and anti mage. Like you have these two heroes that don't really do anything. Like there's no threat of, uh, like you know the both heroes are just gonna be farming. Ooh, it looks like for the kill now. Fear is gonna have fear's camping him though. Really good positioning by fear. He's still going for it. They've got a lift and a couple raises perhaps. Yeah, this might be too much for so little universe. Be able to get no, but Sumail oh, first one missed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sumail commits in. The wall was dropped. There's gonna oh. be the sonic wave, and they got the kill. Now they want Fy here. He's not He's trying to find a little closet in the woods, but. There's nowhere you can go. Double kill. This is. What does Sumil have? Is he going uh, Yules? Looks like Yules. Yeah, he's going Yules for the um, the spirit breaker. That I mean, build too. is just farming. SF has nowhere to farm. One two one stats. Oh no, mana void. That is super sad game for VG right now. Like this undying, even though he has he got such good farm. He got such high levels early, he just couldn't do anything because there was no hero for him to do anything with. Like, the only way VG could really have done anything is Barthrum just leaves bottom lane and goes with Undying and they smoke mid and try and kill the Queen. But without Spirit Break ulti, you can't even do that really. Like, Queen will always be safe because Shaker is just protecting. If you think about it, the Shaker Puck was super good because it protect his, uh, protects his Queen. 
They're able to get a takedown once more, looks like, onto FY. Is possible skirmish to break out mid lane? No, nope, doesn't look like it, though. It's got Omni-slash. Yeah. Fiji just had too many things they wanted to jungle, and obviously an Undying who has to play defensively is more of a sad Undying. Yeah. So a bit too much greed from Vici. EG capitalizing on it. Good rotations from Fear. He's getting almost six with Arcanes. Mm, he does still have that Omni. He's already uh, hustling them back behind the tower here. Got mana for spin. Spin, no TP, dead. nothing else. Oh no, super. Ice 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 will make it out and away, but uh-oh. Oh, that's a good, good Tomb's placement, though. What can they do, though? Turn it back, raise, oh, super is gone. EG converge, and they'll get another big win, 8-2 to two now. Like, this lineup just doesn't work out. Like, it doesn't fit. The heroes don't fit well with each other. They lack a lot of things. They lack damage. Like, I don't uh, yeah, it's, it's very weird. Like this, this uh, fight is okay. If they didn't have an anti mage, if they had a hero down there, that was fighting with them, and they fought here. That was a good fight for VG. But like, look at the the spirit breaker use all his spells, and then SF just doesn't have any items. They're just basically trying to make space for anti mage. But it, like this kind of games where AM has one one like like right now VG has to play an uphill game. This is four protect one burning right now. Yeah. This is just like. Classic old school like DK Dota where you've got burning and everyone around him is just trying to create space and time. The problem is they don't have a lineup to play for Protect One. Like they don't have any spam. They don't have a Wyvern to defend their uphill. They don't yeah. have a Shaker. They don't have a Darkseer. They don't have any um, heroes to really stop the push when EG pushes. Because EG doesn't care if this anti mage gets super fat. You know, like who cares if AM gets super fat? They have the heroes to be able to take care of them and deal with them. The only way that VG can really like do something is EG kind of fucks up a fight. Like if they try and go for a mid tower or, or a Roshan, and uh, like VG's able to get a really good tomb off and a good SF ulti off. Yeah, it's really f hard for them to kill anybody though. Yeah. VG I can't kill anybody with their heroes now. Like the only way they can kill this Jug is if Rubik is there with Spirit Breaker. And they both Rubik and the Spirit Breaker set up a kill. Well, Sonic Wave back online. It looks like they're coming for burning perhaps. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Slash. Yep. Do they have the lockdown? They yep. don't need. They have the burst. Burning is gone, and Fy may be the one to follow here. Fear looking to hustle Tranquil on inch. Tranquil boots. Uh, <laughs> Trying to get that up. echo. Needs more time for Fissure. Not happening. Yo's finished up nice and early. Twelve minutes. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> It's like Ice is going Midas because you know this game is going to go. <laughs> the only way they're going to win is if this game goes super long. And they're charging. Sumo. They need to kill him here. They actually just need to kill him because uh, they saw Juggernaut bottom. And he's on a seven kill streak. But there's so a, a ward on the bottom rune. They so, see uh, the charge. Uh, but that Yule's already coming into play. <laughs> Tries to turn another strike, but Universe is gone. This is a sad Spirit Breaker game. VG Gaming coming up short. Multiple fronts. They're going to try Yolo play here with. Uh, of smoke. They have to. They're gonna try and kill Artur. Artur shouldn't die here though. No mana. He no should TP. Not die here. No blade he here. should okay, not he's got clarity. die. He should not die here. Should not. Artur. Ten could seconds though. Artur, don't die here. He may die. Smoke's coming. Yeah. Is he gonna die? Where are you gonna go? <laughs> oh. He knows they're all missing. They broke. He's gonna, he's run gonna right go back. Loop the deal. They know he's farming. Oh. Down. They see him. He should not die. His no, team's behind coming. him now, though, and they already got a weave grave, off. Grave. They, oh, no, they got the grave off. He's good. He's going to be able to just Blade Fury away. Super should be going down, and it looks like this could be another uh, unfortunate fight for Fiji Gaming here. FY, the Prince could be falling here on the other front. Ice 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 is going to be forced to just retreat the hell out. Prince goes down. Godlike. Don't worry, guys. Space for AM. And he's already godlike. Are you freaking kidding me? I think... Uh I don't know, if you look at all the best of threes that VG's ever played for CG, it's always generally been like this, uh, okay, look. This, 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 this. Oh, goodness! Too early. Blink hit. Still dead. Yeah. He is dead. Yeah, okay, okay well. Sumail beyond God like 10, 14 minutes in. Wow. Do we get an LD wow in here? Wow. The help of the wow. Earthshaker rotations, so wow. that's also <laughs> definitely credit to Fear. 
Is this like a record or something? 14 minute Beyond God like in pro game? There's been 10, 11 minute ones, I think. I think he's gotten 10, 11 minute yeah. ones. Yeah, <laughs> I think Sumail's actually yeah done a lot better than th than this. Yeah. Maybe I, not a lot. Better. I think I think generally though, uh, VG kind of has a mental block whenever they play EG. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, if you look at every best of three since TI4, they've always lost lose to EG. You know, actually, I don't even think they played EG at TI4. That's what Ice was saying in the interview that he did too. Yeah. He said like EG's our kryptonite. Yeah, every I, summit. I, I, there's never DAC, DAC is the most memorable. Yeah. That was the yeah. uh, the three zero. Yeah. Like VG will be the best team in the world, and they'll play EG, and they just lose all confidence for some reason. Because they, they overthink, I think. Like, um, look at this. Look at their draft. Like that's not a VG draft. You know, it doesn't fit their way they draft. In, so they didn't draft for the lineup. It looked yeah. like it looks like they drafted more just like in response yeah. to EG. Because right now the way they're winning is the style they're playing is Birding is playing a lot of these douche heroes. You know, and then lately, uh, yeah, it it, it kind of fits how they play because Fy in general is a very greedy player. Yep. So. And especially this meta as well, like you can't like AM AM is a very slow hero. So I'm gonna try and for Arctur again, but yeah, this is Fear's in position. Even if Fear's not there, it feels like a long shot. I mean is it true like at the Frankfurt Major when I you know, when EG got their first series win I believe, it was I know it for sure I had that first interview. And when you build around an AM with a proper more four protect one, some teams will just go to that when it's like we really need to get a win. But which uh, which game? Who was it that EG it played first? OG, in o right? was it OG in the Frankfurt Major main oh, stage? Oh, fanatic. Oh, um, the first team they played at the uh, main stage in Frankfurt. In the winter it was bracket. Vega. It was Vega. Yeah, Vega. Yeah. So they got that. It went to three that games. A, that was a free anti mage game. That third yeah. game because uh, uh, Vega no stuns. No stuns. Yeah. Yes. Like they got a gyro, undying, clockwork, dazzle, wind ranger. Like literally only a shackle to kill anti mage, and our tour just had complete free from all game. So sometimes it, you know it just happens to fall yeah. into place, but yeah. here I mean, it's, it's kind of like not. a huskar. You know, you get these games where the anti mage it's a free game. It's like yesterday's e home versus liquid game. Uh, even though CTY was like clowning around with the item builds, like no matter how hard he tried a three two two, they just yeah. couldn't because the aim was just too strong. Yeah. Versus uh, uh liquid's draft. EG scouts enemy jungle, sees oh nobody no, there, super. goes to their jungle. Burning might get caught here. This is such a sad Shadow Fiend right now. The Shadow yeah, Friend. Yeah, he's pretty What does he even buy? It's like <laughs> he just it's smoking too late for team. mech, it feels like. Yeah. Russia BKB even. Bots the smoke. I mean, uh, Secret had these kind of this kind of game versus um the, the team IG at... TI5, remember that game? Like, Su Seeker just completely snowballed the game and burning at Anti Mage, and then IG. It was like the one game IG. Oh, won. they came back? That yeah, was like, yeah. the that was, that was like a burning AM. Crazy yeah. But he was. Game. The problem was is that uh, their draft was so good. Like, the IG's draft was so good at prolonging the game. Because they had Storm Spirit. So, well, actually, no. They I had Gyro mid that game. Spirit. Yeah, they didn't. They had a Gyro oh, mid. Oh, that was a secret Gyro mid game? Oh, yeah. they had Dark Seer. That's they why. Had Dark Seer. Yeah, they had Dark Seer. So. There's like a huge play. They got like this Dark Seer vacuum into Mana Void off. Yep. But what does VG have to really defend uphill? And Smil's so far ahead, he's just going to itemize to catch the AM. Like, it looks like he's going right into a Hex after Yule Scepter, not even worrying about any kind of defensive or HP type item. Yeah, yeah he already didn't commit for the Orchid, so... Yeah. Something to chase down that AM. He's going to have a Hex really soon, too. Might even get it before 20 minutes. This is a just feels like this VG base is going to be made of like paper mache. Okay. They this have no way to really stop this it. This is like a the Samil show right here. Yeah, yeah. Is. No Roche needed. Let's go high ground. They're like pushing bottom lane right yeah, next to the I Roche. Mean, what you going to do? Yeah, you know, don't worry, guys. The VG has Darkseer Vacuum into Earthshaker Echo. Oh, wait. That's, the Ar that's their team. Yeah. <laughs> they might just style on them in their own base, yeah. which they're he doing right the now. Double ulties. Don't already worry, one kill. Throw. Big yeah, Vacuum. It's, yeah, it's not looking good. Already a buyback going to be forced out from Super. We haven't even gotten to 20 minutes yet. We could see the GG called here already. I mean, they'll hold on, though. They're trying to fight back. Yep. Ice committed with another strike. Oh. Pop! Not bad. Echo follow-up, though. And wow. Yeah. Too little, too late, though. Yeah. AM's going to buy back, but he's just going to battle for you. He doesn't have ultimate. Okay, nice. Arteezy died to Shadowfiend. And it looks like oh, okay. EG just 3-2-2'd. Yeah. 
Uh oh. Ah, there it is. But it cost it a lot. Really it cost a lot. Two buybacks yeah. on the VT side, I believe. <laughs> well, fight recon. Yeah. We'll see later. SF and AM, both cores yeah, lost was, money during it that. Like really that's matter. that's still a win for EG, even though they give up RTZ. Slight super, setback. Super got the kill though on Jug. And did Super buy out there? Yeah, he bought. He yeah. bought out, so he didn't, get, he didn't get much money. He lost money during the fight, despite the the kills. I mean, right now the only way VG can theoretically win this game is if they can like get a Roshan. Yep. Uh, and get Aegis on uh, anti mage. Well, if they can farm the Vlad, same. Maybe just try and run in and sneak it. He's waiting for his timer to run out. Yeah. What needs to happen is Burning needs to get the godlike streak off of Sumail, and then they do Roshan. Yeah. Yeah. But that is. But Sumail needs to play with his feet here in a moment. But the thing about EG as a team, um, it's hard to get. Oh. Like, the way they play, it's. They're one of the harder teams to really, like. I think Quop is coming with a hex. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's got 1400. It's yeah. a pretty good Very item rich. at 20 minutes with the Yules. Okay, EG is going to run back they've bottom. They've seen the hex. That's the good news. I mean, if EG wants to be safe, they're just going to Roshan. So. Are they going to see burning TP top? I think they're top? going for the racks now. They know there's no buybacks. They probably feel really strong right now. Yeah, Artur yep. just, uh, they're pinging it out. Looks like Artur just pinged the, the racks. Goes first item battle fury, just wants to racks. Yeah. And this is where the, the game comes down to. Can EG 3 2 2 this? I don't think so. <laughs> they're going to get a range racks nice and easily. Let's see if they can do it though. Already the weave out, one rack's down. Echo's not up just yet. Daryl says never mind. <laughs> not yeah. coming in from there. Blink coming so out. He wants, to, he wants to kill uh, Burning. Uh, yep, there it is. Don't worry. Got yeah. it. Yep, vacuum wall. VG are not really going to have a response. Bible thump. Move in. Well, style points for FY, yeah. you know? Healing ward and mech. Okay, they need to kill Slim oh, Shady. Okay. No, oh, Spirit Breaker got the kill, not SF, but. <laughs> Ice is pretty happy about that. Okay, they need to kill the. Okay. But Shaker, Shaker there. Shaker has blink, right? Yeah. Mm. Get him before the grave. Steals it. Dude, Ice is getting so much out of this. Got hit by the Death <laughs> Requiem. He's going to echo, though. Oh, no. Boom. Ice is tanky. They're fine. Stolen Fisher. Oh, God. Oh. Got it, saves Daryl, able to make it back in a way here. Oh no, if I Oh, slice the part. Okay, 17%, 17%. Nope. No. no, that was like four hits with you nothing. You need like five 17% there. Oh. Close. Spirit Breaker wow, got a lot of gold. GG. Yeah, yeah, GG. Yeah, GG'd out. Oh. They lost okay. the racks. Both carries died, so. Why do you take your glasses off, dude? Stay Don't be like that. <laughs> because that was hard to watch. He doesn't want to yeah, see anymore. That's why he took the glasses off. Duh. <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, VG Gaming not off to a good start from the draft point. Bit too greedy, like we were saying. Yeah. You know that Rubik pick, greedy, anti-mage pick, I a bit to, greedy. I had to use the bathroom before this game, and I just didn't get to use it. Thank God this was a fast game. Yeah. I told you there was a game. dumping. It just happened in the game. That's all. Wow. Got him. <laughs> 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 Whew. Well, EG, one game away from Grand Finals. Yeah. yeah. We kind of, I think we, we like talked about like exactly what went wrong for them too. We were like saying yeah. while they were drafting, we're like, this is greedy. They picked the Rubik, it's greedy on top of greed already. And then, yeah, I mean, EG just had well, a really solid draft. SF and NT mages together. Yeah. The game was over. You can't pick a greedy lineup like that yep. versus EG. They're just going to capitalize on it. And they also got, I mean, EG got basically what they wanted, you know, the Dazzle right away. Dazzle Darks here. They got the. They got pretty much every hero they wanted. I would say, yeah. the Shaker was the just one that we were like either to Shaker or Rasta. So just felt too conflicting. You have heroes like Undying and Spirit Breaker. It's probably like we want to go and, and beat ass, but there's we also have to protect our AM. We have to protect our Shadow Fiend. So they're stuck on defensive duty. Theoretically, the draft is okay if they can four v five. Like if SF actually had a decent start, they could have won that game because then uh, they could four v five while AM farms. But then SF couldn't even four v five. He had like Treads, Aquila, Wand. Bottle at like 18 minutes in. Having a good mid lane against someone like Sumail is not going to be easy. I mean, that was VG's cockiness, right? Like, uh, if they want to play this game, they shouldn't care about winning mid lane versus EG. Like, uh, like they picked this SF. You know, like, super strength yeah. is not winning his lane. He's a really good mid game player. He's kind of like uh, C Deck has Shiki, you know? Yeah. And Shiki's like kind of like super of C Deck. Like, uh, he, mm -hmm. he doesn't really care about winning his lane. But he cares a lot about like the mid game, and that's VG strength as well. So then they drafted this like SF mid, but it worked versus um, 
VP, I think. That, yeah. I yeah, think it was more yeah. like also because they blocked it away from VP. I yeah. remember talking to FNG and he's like, man, we wanted that. They were trying to give him Doom so they could get Radiant uh, SF. and. Yeah, the biggest biggest um mistake was when Super died the second time. Yep. The first death was actually worth it. Yeah. Cause but imagine, if got... he, imagine if he lived. Then maybe that yeah. game could have gone Yeah, but the problem but... was the second death on uh, Super when he solo died to Sumil. Because that, that means Sumil is level 6 when SF was level 4. He was like, just hitting level 5, but yeah. It's like... The lane ward on top of everything else yep. just really yep. snowballs. They so missed no. a couple stacks too, like two stacks yep. in a row. There missed was two stacks. It just a lot of things didn't go well for SF mid. Yep. Fair enough. Well, with that, like you said, EG just one win away from securing their spot in the grand finals. We'll have to see if VG Gamer are going to be able to bounce back in game number two. But mm -hmm. before then, we'll cut to a small break so Mr. Bubble here can go use the bathroom and you guys can check out some ads. So with that, we'll see you soon.